Hello everyone, my name is Trevorius, and welcome to 4 Minute Guides, the series where I'm too lazy to make long videos and you're too lazy to watch them. Today I'll be teaching you how I play a Moomoo. We're on deadline, so let's get this rolling with runes and masteries. I take default AP runes with magic pen marks, 5 health and 4 armor seals, AP quints, and MR blues. It's all standard, and everyone should have this page already as a generic AP page, and if you don't, you should probably build one. The magic pen doesn't really help your clear, since jungle minions have no MR, but as you'll see later, magic pen is a big deal in my builds, so it's nice to have it in the runes as well. As for masteries, I go 21-9-0, and if you go tank, you want a very good clear or early gank, so it's really important that you follow these masteries. Summoners, I go Smite Flash, and that's really the only summoners I can see going. If you miss an important Q, Flash Ult can be an invaluable tool for engagement. Or if you do hit a Q, but it's on the front line, a short flash, and you'll be right next to the AD carry. For starting build, go Machete 4 Pots and Award, and almost always start blue. Some situations where it can be appropriate to start red is if you're trying to fool a Lee Sin or something to that effect. You know, you start red, and he thinks you start blue, and then, you know, he'll go to your red to try to kill you, and you're not there. After blue, go wolves, then red, and look for a gank. If there's no opportunity to gank, go golems, raves, wolves, white, and of course check for ganks along the way. On your first bat, grab either a quill coat or a spirit stone, depending on if your top lane is a tank or not and what playstyle you prefer. Get some boots as well as a ward, some pots, and the red trinket, and after that finish your jungle item as quickly as possible. Then get sork shoes, haunting guys, sunfire cape, rylies, and eventually upgrade to Leandries and finish it off with a banshee's veil. If the build goes really late and you got spectral wraith, replace it with zanyas because it gives better stats. Some other really good items are, like I mentioned, zanyas, as well as abyssal scepter and randuins. This build, no matter what jungle item you choose, makes you a really beefy target who can still dish out some serious punishment. The magic pen and AP you get lets you shred through their MR, and Rialis lets you perma slow by using your W. Since I only use MR items that give tank stats, especially health, you're a really tanky target as well. For skill leveling, max E first since it's your main damage spell. I then max Q personally for a low cooldown and more damage. Hitting a Q can do significant amount of damage if you go my build. And lastly, level W, since it really doesn't make that much of a damage difference if it's leveled last. And of course, level your ult at 6, 11, and 16. Early game, get some early ganks off, and try to get some wards down in your own jungle. You're really prone to counter jungling, and it's important to know if someone is waltzing into your jungle unannounced. Mid game, get dragon control, since your teamfight is really good, and you want to force those fights if you're 6. I also usually take the blue unless the mid laner is good, since your clear is slow without it. And late game, you're the engager, and it's important to remember that Amumu has some of the best engage in the game, and fights well in the jungle and on open ground. If you are behind, just use your ult defensively when you get engaged upon since it works well in that scenario as well. And now time for three tips to give you a leg up on the enemy. Number one is to learn to be patient with your ult. Don't just use it all willy nilly, especially late game because you have a really strong weapon at your disposal. Wait for the opportune moment to strike, and your patience will be rewarded. The second tip is auto-attack as quick as you can during your early ganks. Most people seem to forget that Amumu's passive makes his auto-attacks reduce enemy champions MR, so get that auto-attack in for the extra damage and applying red buffs low. And the last tip is learn your Q range. Your Q has such a long range, familiarizing yourself with that range will make your ganks, engages, and even jungle clear faster and better. Thanks for watching guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Trevorius out.